Well, getting in shape is a goal many people have, but sometimes it's hard to figure out what exercise is right for you. So on day two of Getting Fit, I look at ways to increase muscle mass, and here's one exercise that can be done right in the comfort of your own home. On day two of Getting Fit, if you do cardio and you're looking to get a little more muscle, maybe strength training is what you need to look into. And once again, to help us with this with a few tips is Jennifer McCartney, who is an instructor here at ECU. Hey, Christina. Um, I actually work in the Human Performance Lab, which is part of the Exercise and Sports Science Department within the College of Health and Human Performance. Okay, and what are a few tips for people that are looking to get into a strength training program? Sure. I always like to give some advice for people who maybe want to actually start at home even and just do a few exercises within their own house. Um, a great investment is a stability ball that I have here, and they're not real expensive, and you can do a lot of neat exercises on them. Okay, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, Christina, you're going to go ahead and put that against the small of your back. Okay. Good. And what I want you to do is bring your feet out away from your body, shoulder width apart for your feet, and I'm going to have you go down nice and slow into a squatting position. So go okay. ahead. That looks great. Good. And then you come on back up. And that's one repetition of this exercise. So. Okay, and how many, how many of these should I be doing and how often? Sure, we want to aim for about 10 to 12 repetitions of each exercise that we perform. And you can aim for also one to three sets of an exercise. For beginners, I'd say start with one set. Okay, and what is this actually doing? I mean, as I go down, explain to me how it's going to strengthen, sure. and what areas it's going to work. Sure, this is a great exercise for the lower body. This involves a lot of muscles of the lower body, and that's why it's such a great functional exercise. When you think about your daily activities, there's a lot of things that you do requiring you to bend up and down, and so this is a really good exercise that works all the muscles of the lower body. That is day two of Getting Fit, where we focused on strength training, and thanks, Jennifer, for all your help, and we hope that you guys go out and get a ball and maybe try some of this at home. Before you get started in any type of exercise, it's recommended that you talk to your doctor about what exercise is good for you 